How we doing today, everybody? I'm not as excited because I don't have any paper in front of me and I don't know what the hell I'm gonna talk about. Actually, I do. Talking about that. I'm talking about Evanrude and then I'm gonna say hi to that. Uh, if you're an Evanrude person, you might wanna sit down, relax, get your feet up, just chill for a little bit. Um, if you're not an Evanrude guy, might as well do the same because it's gonna be cool. All right, so in the world of Evanrude, and this is really what pisses me off about this guy. I used to like Evanrude. I thought it was a great engine. I loved the theme. I loved how it was. The red, white, and blue. The America, f yeah. The great things about them. And then it went to shit in a handbag. Um, and then it got worse, and we did multiple videos on this. And now, I don't know. You're going to go chapter fucking four on this? This is probably about what it is. And now it's getting to another point to where um, fine customers like this that bring me these Evanrudes um, are looking for parts. And you go on the old type them in let's get some parts and it says back order when's it gonna be there don't know back order so customers gonna be back ordered back order okay all right it's cool back order great I get it we'll wait tell customers back order Shit happens we went through it all right no still back ordered but the part number changes now it gets superseded so then it's still back ordered and then it continues, it continues, and continues. And it's the fucking parts that we need. It's the computers, it's some fucking injectors, it's the shit you fucking need, the electrical shit, the starters, that type of shit. It's the stuff that they own the patents on and they're waiting for the, we're gonna take care of you cycle to be done. Um, and it's kind of frustrating on our end and uh, it has to be on customer end. And the only reason I bring this up is because the customers need to know that if we had a scale right here of what the value of your e-tech was, I bet you would go 10 years ago, it was like in here, five years ago, it probably fell to here. And after I get done with this video, it's probably gonna be in here because there's gonna be no parts available for your e-techs. They're gonna continue to say back order, back order, back order, and they're gonna continue to fuck you. And you're gonna sit and wait. So basically what I'm saying, if you're running an e-tech and it runs good, it may be time to get rid of it. If it doesn't run good, it's definitely time to get rid of it. Um, it's over frustrating on our end of the deal and it has to be for the customer to understand that you I mean this one needs a computer yeah, I know you can send them out blah, 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 blah. but and there's some used there's some used on I have used ones but I don't know that I'm giving them up right now because they're my test victims to prove that the computers junk so why do I want to give them up because I need some of that stuff to support these people because there's still these running around until they're gone um, and I really think that's the ultimate deal. I think that's what Evernude's ultimate plan is. And we just, hopefully they'll repower. Well, you sure ain't repowering this with an underboard. So, you know, you might as well get a Merc. You might as well get a Suzuki, a Honda, a Yamaha, something. Get something, I guess, that you can get. Um, but I, it's just the, the part that's really frustrating to me is that what they're doing and how they're doing it. And I, and I think that's their scheme to things. We had a, a gentleman call us and I'm not going to use any names but he kind of laid this all out for me and said this is going to happen and this wasn't like yesterday he called this was months ago six eight ten months he goes this is going to happen and I'm just telling you that because I want you to know that this is how it's going to go down and he's literally f spot on on how it's going down um, so he has the inside on it and he just presented it to me and it was like you know I it, they got to support it longer than that they got to take care of the customers they said they would I don't believe they are. I don't believe they are. I don't I don't believe they ever have a vision of making a computer for that ever again, ever. Because I guarantee you we go in next month or whenever, the part numbers are gonna change and they're gonna say back ordered again. And that's just how it's gonna happen. I just literally think if this gentleman wants to go boating soon, we have to buy a used one. And there's people on the internet that know that they're worth premium money because they know what's going on. And, it, and yeah, the parts should be worth money because if you wanna keep that on there, you're gonna, it's gonna cost you Two thousand bucks, three thousand bucks to make that thing stay running. Now, is that worth two, three thousand bucks? That's up to the customer, and that's that's just what it is. If it's me, I'm putting that two or three thousand towards a newer, a new engine, something I can get parts for at least. Um, it, it's just over frustrating on our end as a service shop to try to help these people out, to give them the phone call to say, hey, good news is we know what's wrong. Bad news is can't get parts. They're on back order. Oh, how long are they on back order for? Well, could be one day, it could be ten years. Don't know, or it could be never. Probably leaning towards never. Essentially, that's why I bought a bunch of E-Techs. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five or six of them laying around here, um, essentially just so I can get parts off of them. It's, they're, they're literally running engines. I'm going to tear them down 
they're going to be torn down into parts just so we'll be able to get them parts uploaded to the internet to our website and that way you guys will be able to buy parts and I'm going to keep some parts back for our customers that have certain motors and um, besides that I've just been buying some e -techs just so I have some parts because I there's no parts available there's just, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a trash bag trash bag full of fucking shit. Um, and it's fucking annoying it's real annoying because Evernor is a great company they they did a lot of good things and then and then there's there's no dealers I mean who the fuck is supporting these people I, I don't know why you would even support it if you're a dealer why would you even support it you're paying them to fucking be on their their fucking web shit that essentially you can get a spark plug and a fucking plug wire and maybe something else off of the rest is fucking NLA or fucking back ordered. So why are we even supporting them as dealers? I mean, I quit. I law. I, I I when they went red on me, I went red on them. I'm not paying you monthly fees for your web shit to fucking have you build an underboard to fucking say that's the greatest thing in the world. Now stick them fucking people with their underboards and they ain't selling them. I don't. I haven't seen one here on the river. Jordan saw one up some cabin up north. Where the fuck was this? Uh, north of Green Bay. North of Green Bay there was one. So there might be some selling over there. He said it sounded like a trash can for fuck sake. It sounded like a bunch of tools thrown in a trash can rattling around when it went by. I said it's probably full of fucking water. And that's just fucking irritating to me and that they don't support this. You know, it's just, it's not going to happen. So that's what really pisses me off. Um, and even if I, even if I hated it, I did I never hated the engine. I just was like, it wasn't built good. It wasn't built good enough. I love the name. I love what they had. I mean, it was, it was, that's America for fuck sake it's America you know it's just like Jesus um, but it, it, it's 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 just over frustrating and you guys need to know this you ever new people need to know I know there's some ever new diehard people that like literally fuck take shame to my name for bashing them but I think everything I've ever said was true correct Jordan yeah. or it has turned out to be true one way shape or form the only thing I think that I said that they didn't do and what they should have done is made a goddamn electric outboard it would have been better than what they made just f at least go down that road you know what i mean just become the it just become the e of the fucking us and just make a great one but it, it, it's just my blatant honesty towards you people is what i want so that's what you're gonna get if you go that route if you're looking at a used one don't just f buy something else <laughs> you can get more parts for a 2.5 mercury two-stroke EFI and you can this what the f is that about that doesn't seem right something that was built in 89 you can get more parts for 91 92 93 and 4 5 than you can this that's you know I mean but I guess that's what happens when the company goes down but it is what it is um, I can get parts for that over there it's a Johnson four-stroke but that's a Suzuki so you can still find parts for that but I don't know it's just over frustrating it's frustrating for me and the customers all like and I just want you guys to know that that is the direction you're heading you know if you're getting a call from your dealer and they say it's back ordered I would call your dealer and just ask them nicely when do you think it's gonna show up and if they say we don't have an idea I would say pull the plug pull the plug and be done because that's essentially how they're getting by with it they're just keep changing the part number and just keep <whistles> manifesting it into back orders so and I guess legally they can do that. So that's how it's done. But if you're waiting, I wouldn't wait no more. I just would be done with Evan Rude and move on. Um, besides that, that's really all I got for you today in my video. Um, I don't want to really get into details on it. I know there's going to be some people that comment that know the backside of this story probably that are going to fill everybody in as you guys start to comment about this, that, and the other. There's at least three people out there that know more than I know about this. So they're probably gonna filter in and help answer some questions about this stuff. So um, yeah, I mean, the underboard's gonna go away. The c switch will only be as long as people use them at cabins and resorts and whatever. I've seen one c switch in my life on the water, one. One, we even got it on film. We got one c switch, that's it. That wasn't even the best part of that video. There was other parts of that video that were good. Yeah, but I mean, that's that's it. Uh, I mean, it, it's, it, I just had to come on here. We had other videos. I didn't even say what the f this is. Is this just an Andy talk, team talk? I didn't even f say that at the beginning. It's a, team talk. it's a team talk. That's what it is. I'm sorry. I didn't say that because I was just pissed off today. I just got to the point of where it was like, mm, take it in a rate where you don't want it. So I was just, um, that's not to you, by the way. That's Devin. 
if you're watching. That's not to America, that's to Evan. Um, are you gonna blur them out? Do these get blurred? No, I don't So they're seeing these right now? Yeah. That's cool, all right, that's awesome. Um, that's it, I mean, that's really all I got. I'm sorry if it's a short video, it's just something I had in my head and I needed to get it out there. I needed America to understand where Evandrid stands, how it's going, and if you're one of them customers that's waiting on back order, you're gonna be waiting a long time. And that's really what you should know. You call your dealer and just start, I didn't, like I said, I don't even think there is a fucking dealer. Just call your service shop and just ask them what the situation is, you know, because I mean, you can order some parts. We do, I mean, we do get some parts and they're supplying parts to like some parts wholesalers. I know that, but it's just the important shit. I, you know, you need bolts, you need couplers, you need some gear case parts. You're gonna be able to get that if you want to do some building, but I can't get a computer. I don't ever see them building another computer. You know what I mean? I think the computer's like 1500 or 2000 or something like that. And I think you can buy a used one for 16, 1800 or maybe just one for 700 and pull the software and then do your coding to your injectors and do all that shit. But then by the time you're done, you might as well just bought the injectors and just bolted them on and saved them a bunch of fucking diagnostic fees and labor and just been done and done. You know, it's. I think it's going to go down that road for these people that are just trying to survive with their e-tech. Um, I would throw it away. That's what I'd do. I'm sure fucking Miller's looking for some beer can material. Somebody somewhere needs some fucking aluminum. And that's what i do. But that's all I got. Uh, you got anything for me, Jordan? You got anything else? Uh, people want to see change. Keep it in root honest. Yeah, call the company. I mean, I agree. Yeah, I mean, you can call the company. Okay, Who the fuck are you gonna get? There ain't no one around. They're gonna just say there ain't no one in that department anymore. Here, let me fucking. You can talk to AI. Hello, my name is Bob. I am here to serve you today. What part number are you looking for? That fuck head. You can talk to that guy, or you can talk to Sherry, who's not there anymore. Welcome to BRP. How may we direct your call? Click one for customer service. Welcome to VRP. How may I direct your call? Click one for customer service. Welcome to VRP. That's what you're going to get. You ain't talking to anybody. That shit's over. The fucking flags are down. There ain't a motor being built. The only thing left on the ground is a little bit of fucking XD100. That's it. And they just spilt that shit. That's the only thing left over there. A little XD100 laying on the ground. Someone steps on that shit. There's like one of these little footprints. The last, last fucking drift. That's all that's there. The rest of that shit's gone. It ain't happening. It's over. It's fucking done. Pull the plug. Let the fucking water drain out of the bitch and fill it back up with concrete and say she's over. Just come out and say that. Just be like, it's fucking done. We aren't doing it. It's done. There's no parts. There's no nothing. You're fucked if you got an Evernude. Is that what you wanted me to say, Jordan? Yep. All right, there it is. You're fucked if you got an Evernude. Right there. Right fucking right there. You got it. Right? Took it hard. That's it. We're done. That's it. So that's where I'm at. Um, apologize it was short, but America needed to hear. America needed to hear that if you're waiting on that, then just do what you got to do. Do what you got to do, and that's all I'm going to say. So that way, I'm still here next week, if you know what I mean. So that's what we're doing. Go do what you gotta do to just get your revenue either off the back of your transom or maybe find some parts. But there'll be used parts. And I think these people that are selling used parts are selling quality used parts to their knowledge. You know what I mean? I don't think it's a bunch of garbage. So you will have that capability, but you're literally taking your EMM that had 360 hours and putting one on that had 220 or 500 hours. So you know where the fuck going with that. So it's gonna be a road. It's gonna be a road and that ain't fucking concrete it's gravel it's got a lot of potholes in it it's gonna hurt occasionally so that's just it that's all i got jordan anything else nope that's it yep evan rude gone done can you just make this like disappear in the background just like mm -hmm. every time i comment can you just like make a piece of it fall off <laughs> yeah. by the time we're done it's just fucking that nothing i don't know i don't know I'm sorry, people. That's all I got for. It. I didn't have a lot of emotion. I was just—it pissed me off today, just because this is like this is like number six. That's now, fucking, there it is. You don't even get to go voting. Just junk. Just junk. That's it. That's all I got. As always, make sure you comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to witness the madness. Fucking that Evan Rude for sure is not saying speed, money, no breaks. They're just saying blue, blue, blue. I'm out. See ya.